welcome back to my channel. So today we're a little closer than normal, but there is an actual reason behind that. So I've decided I'm going to start showing you looks with all the palettes that I own. All my eyeshadow palettes. So I just want to just get started right in on this. If you can hear chewing, that's Lucy. She dropped a whole bowl of cat food on my floor and I'm just like, fine. You can be in the background eating it. So I don't feel like vacuum and cleaning again. Or vacuuming and cleaning again. Because I just vacuumed before sitting down to film today. So today's video is going to be on the Cover Girl palette. The Roses one. True Naked 815 Roses. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. CoverGirl does not know I exist. No one knows I exist yet, apparently. So, yeah. I do have a link with Arbonne in my description box because I am an independent consultant and I will make a commission on every Arbonne product purchased through my links. So, now that that is all out of the way, please give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying this at all. Leave me some comments, hit subscribe, ring that bell. It would mean a lot to me. It shows me that 90% of my viewers are not subscribed and I would really appreciate it if I would get some subscribers. Seeing as we're like stuck in the 20s, the low 20s even. So, all right, anyway. Yeah, these smell good. They smell kind of like chocolate. I have a cat hair up my nose, don't I? Um, yeah, I quick wiped up, wiped up, well, wiped off all my eyeshadow that I had on earlier. <sighs> so we'll just get right on into this. My eyelids have concealer on them and they are set with translucent powder. So here we go. Yeah. All right. And this palette does not have a lid or lid. Well, a mirror. There we go. Savannah. And um, does it have shade names? Yes, it does. Okay, so I will try to remember to mention the shade names, but we will see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's eight shades. I'm like, it, it felt like there wasn't enough of the shades named on the back to match with the actual palette. So this is a pinky palette. It is found in Pretty much anywhere CoverGirl is sold. They have a whole bunch of these little true naked palettes and I like them. They're pretty good. Especially, you know, they're drugstore. They're they're drugstore. What do you expect? So I'm gonna take this little wet and wild fluffy butt bu brush and dip into almond here. And just kind of or er, no, no, not that one. I don't like that one actually. I wanna dip into this dustier pink which is called baby okay they are more powdery so tap that off and of course like all the pigment went away of course just kind of start off that in my crease i wore this a lot back in the day i like my pinkies apparently Though you have to be careful on all that because you can look like your pink eye or your black eye or something if you go too much per pinky and purpley. Right, then I'm going to dip into this little bit darker one which is called flip it upside down, Copper Rose. Okay. Tap only a tiny bit off of that one. Get that on the outer portion for the most part. Okay, and then I'm gonna quick catch up the other eye. All right, now that the other eye is caught up, I'm gonna take that same brush and actually just grab more of that copper rose shade, the darker purpley pink. Just make sure to make like a V shape. Make sure to make like a V shape. All right. 
Hmm. This palette just, there's not a lot of matte shades to work with. <sighs> so I'm going to take my denser, or denser, well, smaller fluffy brush. It is more, it is a bit denser and go in with this dark, dark, dark shade, the tiniest bit of it. That shade is called Mavarine. I can't tell if I'm saying that right remotely. And just kind of stamp that into that tiny little bit of a V. To the point you can't really even tell I did anything. I'm gonna do, and then I'm just gonna do it one last time. And there, now you okay. can kind and of I'm gonna see go that back I in with that first here. pinky shade baby. Just kind of <sighs> and I'm gonna grab that fluffy brush again. Well, that one rolls and away. Then slowly with like nothing left that. on my brush. Bring that to the inner portion. <sighs> and then ignore the fact it looks like I almost have a black eye. So then I'm gonna repeat things onto the other eye really quick. All right, so with the other eye all caught up, I'm going to take oh, hmm. champagne. Well, why did I close that? That very lightest shimmer with my ring finger. It, they are so very smooth. Just put that on my lid. Apparently we are now showing the other eye. It is not as intense of a shimmery color as a lot of the higher end brands, but it is still very beautiful for what it is. So I'm going to quick grab where are them? a little th thinner of a fluffy brush and go back in with baby, that original pinky color, type a little. And then just kind of put that on the lower lash line. They are so very dusty. Honestly, this palette's probably and then expired. I'm going to take that very end but shade almond. I, uh, yeah, just kind of a highlighty um, brown color. Same brush, just kind of keep that on the outer highlight. half. And then it has the slightest shimmer to it. I forgot to blow that off. And then I'm gonna pour it on the inner portion of the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take that fluffy brush one last time and blend that crease. I forgot. Then the crease. And that is my look using the Covergirl True Naked Roses Palette. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I would really appreciate it 